But the thing that has a lot of us buzzing isn't just the event, but rather the press conference afterwards. Triple H was, you know, obviously talking about the multiple records that Bad Blood had gotten, including largest gate of a domestic event um, and all that and all that. But he was also asked about black representation when it comes to WWE as when it comes to these premium live events. And he infamously says, I don't see color, I see talent. So I wanted to know how you felt about these comments and what do you think that it meant and all this other stuff. I have a whole thing, but I want you to go first. I don't know why people look to people that don't look like you to explain to you why they not putting people that look like you in certain positions. I don't, I don't get it. Uh, pro wrestling has always been full of bigotry since forever. Um, mm. Pro wrestling has never really put people of color, or let me say, I can't speak for everybody else as a black man, has never put anybody like us in prominent positions unless it's there to make money, but that's everything. That's the music business, that's acting, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's just how it works. Uh, I could say this though, with Vince was there, it was a little bit more people of, you know, that look like us in certain positions as far as getting WWE title shots and on TV more so. Now, Tony Atlas said this, and you kind of always have to listen to the old heads because it's something to what they're saying. He said, Vince don't see color, he see money. I mean, for the most part, it seems to be that way anyway. And I'm not trying to defend Vince, but when you look at the past 30 years or so, you look at people like Kofi Kingston, Bobby Lashley, The Rock, Mark Henry, Booker T, that really got title shots and that were on TV a lot in different programs. Now, the only time you see people on TV is the New Day arguing. Every now and then you see the Street Profits. Uh, the women's, they be there, but it's like, and it's not like a ton of WWE black workers anyway. NXT, yeah. But the main roster, it's it's a handful anyway to begin with. And then besides that, on the roster, it's a handful of people that they use anyway. And it's a lot of workers that's on that roster. So for that person to ask the question, I get it. But I don't get why people think the guy that kind of did a chimpanzee dance in front of Mark Henry in the 90s and kind of did blackface to play the, the croc back in the 90s, said Booker T got nappy here and he shouldn't win the title, and has done other stuff, is to go too far as racial racial things that happen in wrestling when he is who he always has been before. I mean, Bret Hart keep telling people anyway, y'all just want to believe that, you know, he's changed because he's in control. Like, I'm not a Triple H guy. I don't think he's a great booker. I think he just gives you exactly what you want. That don't make you a great booker. Now, just, again, I'm not trying to defend him, but the dad-in-law understood. Y'all going to like it. If y'all don't like it, F it. I'm going to give you what you want. Pause. Well, in his case, probably not. Pause. But, yeah, anyhow, it's just a fact of I don't understand why people want Triple H to really be like, yeah, I'm all cool with, you know, all colors and stuff like that might be some errors to what he's saying but at the same time a leopard ne never changed his spots you feel me you are who you always gonna be into the end of your life you just get slower as you age nobody when people say that they changing that's a lie you can't change you just have to become worse or better of a person than you already are if you a bad person you're gonna get worse as you get older if you're a good person you're gonna get better as you get older you are who you're supposed to be and that's just what it is I, so this is a very loaded thing for me because I actually like Triple H. I think he is a great booker. And I think that my senses of him being a really good booker is based on what I saw with him in NXT. Mostly because there were times where fans didn't even actually know what they wanted until Hunter actually did it. And I think that the prime example of that was the, was the DIY story with, jo with Johnny and Tommaso. Right. Like I felt like there were a lot of moments in that story where like we didn't even know what was coming next. And then when we were introduced to it, it was like, oh, my God, like I didn't even see that coming. But now I want that. Um, as far as the 
as far as the comments on black talent is concerned. I feel like I don't think it's a matter of. First off, let me actually start off by saying this. As a black man who has been in predominantly white environments for the majority of his life, most people that don't look like you are not going to hold the same things important as you do as it pertains to culture, as it pertains to representation. They're not going to, people are naturally not going to see the importance of representation, especially when that has never been a conversation amongst them. We can expect it from other groups of people of color because pretty much everyone at one point in time was underrepresented or misrepresented. The representation conversation is not something that is natural to non-white people. It's not is something that is is not something that is natural to non-colored people, to people that are not of color. So I think that we need to start there. The represent that that's something that's that a lot of people don't really have to talk about because it's natural to them. They always see themselves. So of course, when you ask them why isn't there representation of this group, they're not going to see it. Do I believe that Triple H had good intentions? Yes. Um, however, I do believe because and and the reason why I say that is this because when it came down to NXT, Triple H booked a lot of black champions. So we had Keith Lee, and we had Isaiah Swerve Strickland, and we had um, we had Velveteen Dream. We had all these guys in NXT that Triple H that were black that Triple H put in position to win. And so, based on that, I don't think that it's a matter of him not seeing the black talent on the card as much as I don't think he saw where they would fit on this particular card, or for a lot of other cards that have happened in the past four to five months. Quite frankly, because I think that the whole Bobby Lashley departure threw off a lot. I also believe that we're not going to see a lot of black representation when it comes to the men's wrestlers until we see a triple. Like we haven't seen the black version of a Kevin Owens in the in the sense of like a a African American wrestler who is a Triple H guy. We have the Seth Rollins and the Kevin Owens and all these other guys. In my opinion, those guys are Triple H guys. We have not seen a black iteration of that. I feel like the moment that we do see that, I feel like is when we're going to see a lot of black representation on the main roster. And I feel like there's a lot of guys that are coming up that have that potential to be that guy. I feel like Trip Williams has the potential to be that guy. I feel like Obafemi has the potential to be that guy. I feel like Wes Lee, to an extent, has the potential to be that guy when it comes to being on the main roster and being pushed the way that they should be. Um, so and I, I and, and to be completely honest, like when I was watching the show yesterday, it felt like everything that was there was there, like everything that needed to be there was there. And I felt like I'd rather sit through a program and be like, OK, all this makes sense than to just kind of force somebody that's black to be on the card. Because like when Vince was putting 13 matches on a card and there were black performers, half the time we were like, this doesn't make sense. Why is it on the card? So I don't. I don't think that we like we should change standards now. And if Hunter were to do the same thing, I feel like we would have said the same thing to him that we would have said to Vince. So I think that that's for me, it's a purpose thing. And I feel like while I think we should push for representation, uh, I also believe that we need to push what makes sense. And it just sucks because the timing on this is just like you can't like this is Atlanta. This is the black Mecca. You know what I'm saying? And like, granted, you had Metro there. Little Baby was there. Obviously, Jade and Naomi were the host. You had Lil Yachty in the suite. So I feel like they understand the importance of black representation, right? I feel like if they didn't, those references would not have been made. I just feel like it's 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 a matter of Triple H looking to somebody and be like, that's that's he's my guy. Here we go. I feel like once we get that is when we're going to start seeing a lot more of the representation that we want. But I want to know from y'all how y'all felt about Triple H's press conference remarks. Leave a comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching the Culture 316 podcast. If you liked what you saw, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you guys can stay up to date with all upcoming videos and events pertaining to Culture 316.